Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bare face because I will be reviewing Chanel's new Sublimage Ultima Radiance Generating Serum Foundation. When this was first released, I was so excited to purchase it and I cannot wait to see what this foundation looks like on the skin. Now, this foundation has not been released on Chanel.com's website in the US, but I did purchase it from Harrods and I will leave a link below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. Now this is the first serum like foundation from Chanel and I'm so excited because Sublimage is the higher end type of skincare range from Chanel so I love when foundation is combined with skincare it just gives you that benefit of skincare as well as coverage so let's see I'm really excited to try this as you can see I do have a few breakouts on my skin not a good month so let's see how this foundation covers up all of that so I really love the presentation of the box of this foundation and it does come with a brush as well. And just like all of the other Chanel brushes, it comes with a sleeve, which I love. And then the brush itself, very soft. I love Chanel brushes. This is actually quite a dense brush as well. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to apply the foundation. And then we have the foundation in a beautiful glass bottle. This one is in color B30. This is the color that I usually go for from Chanel. Uh, both the CC cream as well as the Le Beige foundation are both B30. And I feel that this shade really matches my skin tone. I don't have any primer on. I am going to do a full day wear test of this foundation to see how it wears throughout the day. So let's take a couple of pumps it is a little bit runny so I wonder if I should mix this beforehand just because usually when foundation is runny I just feel that it needs to be mixed all right let's just take another pump over here just to make sure I just zoomed you guys in a little bit more so that you can really see how this foundation lays on the skin and I'm actually glad that I have a couple of breakouts just so you can see really if this foundation has good coverage. So it does have a fragrance to it similar to Chanel's skincare range, which I do like. It definitely has a hydrating finish just kind of applying it on. It's gliding on beautifully. Not bad coverage. Now, it's definitely not full coverage. Definitely has a natural type of feel. It looks really beautiful. Definitely has that luminosity. And I really do like this brush. It really applies a foundation on beautifully. I love how dense it is. Now, it's not full coverage at all, but I don't know, it gives that beautiful radiance. But you could definitely see over here with the breakout, you could still see it peek through. I'm just going to take another pump and apply a second layer. I really want to see if this foundation is buildable. So there is a second coat. This foundation is definitely buildable. Still looks very beautiful, luminous. You definitely see that hydration. I just feel that my skin looks very glowy. Look at that. I really love the finish of this foundation. It looks beautiful. Okay, so I am going to go off camera and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. And that is the finished look. I just filmed this entire eye look and reviewed this palette. So if you guys can guess which one it is, leave me a comment below. But I love the radiance that this foundation give. It's, uh, I've had it now for about half an hour, I would say, and it looks very beautiful. So I am gonna go about my day. I am going to take you guys with me and we are going to do a full day wear test. Let's see how this new Sublimage Chanel foundation wears throughout the day. 
It is now 4 p.m. The sun is setting, so not the perfect lighting, but I thought I would do a check-in for you guys. And I just went shopping for some winter clothing. So a new haul is coming very soon. I know you guys really enjoyed the last uh, clothing haul that I did. I got a chestnut praline latte. This is my favorite drink of the season. It's so good. But the foundation is holding up pretty well. And as you can see, my skin looks pretty dewy, almost oily, which is saying something for me because I usually have really dry skin and I never complain of oily skin ever. So this is definitely something. So if I'm feeling like my skin is dry, especially during the winter time, I think I'm going to love this foundation. Uh, but yeah, for those of you guys that have oily skin, you're probably not going to like it too much. But for me, I'm completely fine um, with this. But yeah, definitely glowy. You could definitely still see the glow. <laughs> and i don't see any dry patches whatsoever it hasn't cracked at all um, especially in the forehead section that's usually where i see it most and also around my mouth area but looking good so far and i will do another check-in at the end of the day it's now 5 30 i think i'm going to call it a night but i did want to give you guys my final thought about this foundation i think it looks lovely it just it hasn't really settled in that much just around the nose area just a tiny little bit but nothing to really hate on it still looks very dewy and fresh and of course it's not full coverage but I love it. It looks natural and my skin has looked dewy all day and I did go shopping so I was wearing a mask as well and it still looks beautiful. I really love it. I think it is a great foundation for the winter time. Now I did do a full review of the Le Beige foundation as well and I do love this for the summertime but I don't know. Do you guys want to see a comparison of both of these? I think I might do a video comparing both of them. Maybe do half of my face one and the other half with the other just to kind of compare them both together. I think that the sublimage is a little bit more dewy than the Lebeige's that's for sure and yeah it just gives so much radiance to the skin. I do like this foundation. I think it is a great foundation for those of us that have dry skin. Now if you do have oily skin I don't think you will like it as much but otherwise it does have a silk finish. It looks very dewy and just gives that radiance to the skin all day long. I also really love the brush that it comes with. I love how tight packed it is and it really applies the foundation beautifully. I definitely think that I will be using this with my other foundations as well and even throughout the day if you want to do some touch-ups or even kind of around the nose if the foundation does settle because I feel like this foundation you really can tap it in through the skin um, throughout the day so I think this brush is perfect for that. It really is such a good brush. I think I'm going to call it a night. That is my review of Chanel's new Sublimage foundation. I definitely think it is worth it. I will leave a link down below for you guys to purchase it. So definitely please use that link. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.